What is up guys, Daniel Taylor here from the Cigar Field Journal, bringing y'all yet again another video. I don't know if I should call it an unboxing, a review, both. I'm probably gonna figure this out later and I should have figured it out before, but I didn't and I'm the worst and we know that, but we're moving on. Today, we have for you guys something really special, something really cool, and let me just blow this out of the way real quick. You might see paid promotion in the bottom here, here, somewhere. Now look, what is all this paid promotion stuff? We're a new channel, Dan. Why don't you just give free videos without hucking products at us? I will never show you guys, solicit to you guys, recommend to you guys a product I actually don't love and or, most of the time and, use myself. Hence the reason this video took 10 days after I got the product to shoot. I wanted to make absolute sure that I loved this product before I showed you. That's how much you mean to me, okay? Now let's get that right out of the way. And not just that, but it means free stuff for you. And without further ado, boom! The Dissim Soft Flame Inverted Lighter. Now let me tell you, I have thoroughly tested this lighter. Beautiful packaging, by the way. A nice little cardboard sleeve. Very nice, uh, nicely presented, which of course, I say it again, I'm a skipping record, but being a branding design guy, I love this stuff. I could not give them any more props. I love this. I love the little, you know, Star Wars-esque prototype there. Got to love it. Super, super cool. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, man, is that tight. That's good. You don't want this stuff banging around and shipping. Uh, I gotta admit, I have been using this one for probably 10 days now, 14 days, something like that. And let me tell you, does this thing pass the test of usability? Uh, yeah. Not to mention, I have refilled this thing because that, as we all know, is the number one thing to worry about with new lighters. I have had some lighters that are easily over $100 that uh, frankly refilled like sh Even if you followed every guideline, every step that the manufacturer gave you, something went wrong with the mechanism, something went wrong with the gasket, something went wrong with the seals. We've all been there. It's so tiring. That is the number one pet peeve of mine when it comes to lighters. Because at the end of the day, any flame is going to light your cigar. Period. Doesn't matter. You can use a Bic. You, hell, you can use a Zippo. Whatever you want. Use your campfire. Use your grill. Use your stove. It's going to light your cigar. But when you're banking on this thing to hold and refuel, man, is it a letdown when they don't perform. If you have not seen soft flames in terms of cigar lighters or you're new to soft flames, these are the bee's knees. I am a big, big fan of softer, cooler flames. It is so easy, even if you're toasting, you know, let's say you've got your cigar here, here's your lighter, and you know, you're a good distance away. There's no active flame hitting the leaf. That, I don't remember the exact numbers, but man, does that jet flame come out some hot. I want to say, I might put a little addendum here on screen, but I want to say it's almost double that of a soft flame. Of course, these vary from flame to flame. You could have a quad torch, triple torch, double, single. So of course, you're going to up the heat as you up the flame and the intensity. Usually, usually, it's a safe bet to say that a soft flame is a little more gentle, a little cooler, if you will, on the stick right out the gate. The design, man, is super cool. I love this look. I love the circle. So neat. I might have said this on the channel before. You guys know I'm a futurist at heart. I love new designs. You know, I'm a sucker for uh, for trailblazing, if you will. And these guys definitely do it. Soft flames are soft flames. This thing can go from really small to really, really big. Obnoxiously big. You have no reason to have a flame that big. Unless, I don't know, maybe you're lighting a fire that you stupidly put gasoline on, even though everyone in your house told you not to. <coughs> Don't do that. I went, I brought this, I think, already to two lounges. And uh, the second one I went to out here in Portland, the guy was like, man, isn't that hole just kind of stupid? Couldn't you have fit so much more fuel where that hole was? And you know what, guy whose name I don't remember and I'm the worst? Yeah, you could have put fuel here. But you know what? This got so much attention, it's not funny. This little look, this cool little, you know, unique design, everyone was staring, everyone was asking. It is too Cool. So uh, yeah, if you like conversation, she sure is a conversation starter. Anyway, the nitty gritty, pros and cons, okay? Pros, from my point of view, and of course guys, these are all opinions, so do not take this for gospel, but I'm gonna give you what I think an honest review of this lighter is. Pro, it is gorgeous. 
I love the material choices. I love the matte gunmetal. I love the rubberized black here. I love the gunmetal in the middle. I love the shape. Nice segue to the next uh, pro here, and that is the ergonomics. This thing is insanely comfortable to hold and light. This as a brace is incredible. If you're holding this and you're lighting your cigar, you're using this for leverage, this is so comfy. I can't imagine holding this like this. It almost feels clunky to go back to like my Calibri Stealth or my Zycar HP4. You know, you're holding it so awkwardly. So you add this as an anchor and it just makes sense. Genius design. Number two, this thing I can't even recall if it didn't ever light. And everyone knows the second thing that plagues cigar lighters, any butane lighters, the light. I've had some really expensive lighters just stop lighting consistently. It took me like six clicks to get the Calibri to stay lit. This thing has not failed. It's pretty ridiculous. Four is, it's just a conversation starter. This is super unique. You're not gonna see many people with these and uh, I really like that. I think that's cool. In a world where we have so much homogenization, it is nice to stand out and kind of have your own thing. So props to this in for that. Cons, if I had to give it some, because really my experience with this is stellar so far. I mean, I can't speak for long-term, I haven't used it long-term, but for you know the extent that I've used it, I absolutely love it. The cons I might give it if I were to uh, speak candidly. One is, You'd have to take away how much I love the grip, but if you did, you could fit more butane. So that is one thing. Yeah, it could hold more butane and uh, you would, you'd would you be better off in terms of not having to refill it as often. Though I will say, refilling it is a breeze. It, it was a no brainer and uh, it performed flawlessly. My only other flaw I was going to mention was it would be cool to see this in different colors, but Dissim reached out and let me know that uh, they indeed just launched a plethora of new colorways. So really that's it. Like I said, I'm making it sound worse than it is. This really does have a pretty sizable butane tank. So uh, it's really not as bad as uh, the guy at the lounge was uh, making it out to be. I think he just wanted one of these lighters, huh? That leads me to my last point. The other cool side of these partnerships is it gives me a chance to let you guys in on some of the action. DeSim has very kindly sent me another lighter. I'm going to be giving this away on behalf of myself and DeSim, along with a few sticks from my collection, which I just happen to do every time anyway. I literally don't even know what I'm gonna have you do. Go to subscribe, shoot me a comment. I love talking to you guys, seriously. The community on YouTube for cigars is like second to none. You guys have been the best. The talk, the reach outs, people like encouraging, people inquiring, really, really cool. And I really do appreciate it. So uh, yeah, must leave a comment. We're gonna run this also on Instagram, I believe. So you can head over there at the Cigar Field Journal. I have no idea what the, uh, what the entry guidelines are gonna be yet. I haven't even thought of this, but just head over there. I'll spell it out in the post under this picture. Gotta say before we run, a huge shout out and thank you to the guys over at DeSim for doing this with us. And uh, again, sending two so that we can share the love with uh, one, of the, uh, one of the subscribers, one of our friends. We really appreciate it. And uh, shout out to companies feeling brave enough to hop in with the, uh, with the new guys. It is not underappreciated to Sim. Thanks a bunch, guys. Smash the like button if you like what you're seeing. Give it an unlike if you don't. Do you like the new setup? Any, uh, any opinions, any critiques? I'm definitely always open to hear uh, opinions. I love making things better. Feel free to subscribe if you're new, if you're just clicking on this and ring that bell so you can see when we go live. I'd love to have you. We'd love to have you. I've been Daniel. You guys have been the best, and we will see y'all next time. It's almost ridiculous.